Okay, this is take two of this video because a silly tired mom brain, I totally forgot that my mic was even like on so it sounded really echoey so <laughs> here we go again! Okay, so this so we're going over 49 strong and powerful baby girl names and meanings. Now, this is a blog post I have written on my blog, Dollar Mommy Club. Um, you can find the link in the description below as well as on the video somewhere on the screen. I don't really know where I'm going to put it, so just find it when it pops up. Um, so I wrote this blog post because I was in a super, like, woman empowerment, like, mode this day. Um, and so I decided to write a blog post about kind of girls names that mean like strength or health or you know power um because there's a lot I, I really feel like you know sometimes it's not just when it comes down to names but also what the names actually mean um I always love looking up the meaning of my name and our daughter's name and when we were naming when I was pregnant with our daughter man we had the hardest time picking a name because it was like you don't want to name your kid after someone you disliked on like as a mom, like yourself or like your partner or your husband. Um, and that's something Tucker and I ran into a lot <laughs> is that we wanted to pick the perfect name that we've never heard before that was unique, but not like too out there. Um, but that just would really match our daughter's personality. And that name we chose was Bobby. Now I did not pick her first name. Tucker actually came up with the name Bobby. He called me one day from work and was just like, "Hey, what do you think of the name Bobby?" Because we were, we just could not agree on a name. And when he called me and told me, I just fell in love with it. And so um, I had the honor of picking her middle name. I so my middle name is Malin. I really wanted to name her Malin, but Bobby Malin, I didn't like how it flowed. And that was the other thing that we were kind of picky about. It's like, it has to flow. <laughs> I don't like it when it's like broken up or choppy. And so I picked her name, middle name Marie. So it's Bobby Marie. Um, and it works perfect because her nickname is Miss Marie. So MM. Anyways, it's kind of long story long. <laughs> um, so yeah, so when it comes down to picking, you know, your daughter's name, your baby girl's name, you kind of want it to mean more than just a name that you picked. So that's what we're going to go over. So again, these are, you know, strong and beautiful baby girl names. So let's dive right in. Okay. So the first one is Lena. I actually love this name and I'm going to probably say that to a lot of these because I love all these names. That's why I put them in my blog post because I loved them all. Um, and I actually know a couple people from like that have a lot of these names. Um, I actually know a Leanne. Lena is pretty close, but Lena actually means lion, lion strength. That is from old German. Um, and it's just kind of, you know, if you know lions, they're very powerful, very strong animals. And so I thought that name really resembled well for this um, post. The next one is Millie. I think this one is so cute. I just keep seeing a little, like, petite, curly-haired little girl. Um, and one thing I love about this name is you, you hear the name Millie, and like I said, I, I think of someone petite and small. And the actual meaning of this name means gentle strength and brave strength. So it, I think it was so cool that it put so much power behind the name, even though the name sounds like just petite and just like cherishable or just very, I'm trying to think of the word. Anyways, I just love that name. The next one is Audrey. That one means noble strength. Then we got Valerie. Um, this one is strength and health. I know, um, I feel like Valerie is kind of like becoming more popular. I know a lot more older people named Valerie than like new little girls, but, um, you know, you can like Google like trends of names and see if they're going up or down and Valerie is actually starting to climb. So that's kind of cool. Um, the next one is Brie. I really like this one because Tucker's middle sister, Ooh, burp. Tucker's, sorry. <laughs> Tucker's middle sister. Um, now Tucker's the oldest of eight. So, um, we're talking about like the sister that's literally in the middle of all of them. Um, her name's Brienne and I call her, we all call her Brie for short and I love it. Um, so this one means strength or exalted one. Now, one thing I noticed is a lot of these names mean like exalted one, strength, or like 
have to do with like biblical things because they were, you know, from Greek um, origins and or like mythology. So it had a lot to do with mythology because of Greek. Um, so that I found that was actually pretty cool. Um, the next one is Brianna. Now this one means strong, vigorous, and honorable. Um, I do know a Brianna, and she totally matches all of those. And it's funny, it's like if you look up like your name definition, it kind of matches you. Like I can't. I think mine means friend, and I think I'm a great friend. And um, so it's cool to look up your names to see what they actually mean because I feel like your names actually match like kind of who you are. So that's kind of cool. Um, Bridget, I know another lady named Bridget, and she's awesome. Um, this one means exalted one. Now, <laughs> this next name, and please, like, <laughs> excuse me on this one. I don't know how to say it. It's Val, I think it's Valencia. Valencia. It's V A L E N C I A. So, Val Valencia. It's kind of hard to say if that's, if I'm actually pronouncing it correct. Um, anyways, this one means strong and healthy. The next one is Maleficent. And obviously, we all know the movie Maleficent, and it means brave strength. And Angelina Jolie in the movie did have some pretty incredible brave strength. So Maleficent is a great one. Um, the next one is Trudy, which means universal strength. Um, if any of you are Monk fans, Monk's wife's name was Trudy. I am I'm mentioning that because Tucker and I have been watching it like every night <laughs> as our like hangout time, and so that name anyways blah 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 continuing <laughs> the next one is Gabriella this one's a really pretty name um this one means heroine of God um and anytime you hear the name Gab Gabriella I think of the Wonder Woman like the what are they called in Wonder, in Wonder Woman I don't remember what their whole like women thing is called but it reminds me of that for this one um the oh where'd it go Okay, the next one is Bria, which means power, strength, and vigor. So that one's a really cool one. Um, next one is Kendra, um, which is enthusiastic power, wise ruler, and greatest champion. I really liked this name because I just felt that there, there's so much power, and it's such a beautiful name as well, like Kendra. And you can, I just keep seeing like, a very determined little girl when it comes to this name. Sorry, I'm not comfy in my chair. <sighs> okay, the next one is Carla. Um, this is one who possesses strength. That's a pretty cool one. Um, Amelia. I really think this is really pretty. Um, this is uh, striving and work. So they're like hard workers is basically what that name means. Um, Sandra. And, oh, where was this one? Oh, there it is. So, Sandra is actually a version of the name Alexandria, um, and it means defending men. So, which I think is kind of cool. I mean, even though it's like a woman, like, oh, defending a man, like, I still think that name is really cool because you're, I don't think men is just like a man, but like men as, like, male, female, whatever, just people. And so like, I feel like, you know, like a, like a congressman or, you know, that type of powerful defending, basically just defending. So that's the kind of thing with that one. Um, Ruth, this one's really cute as well. This means friend or companion. Um, I knew of a Ruth. Um, I wasn't, I didn't know her that well, but she did seem very friendly and a very good companion so that's kind of cool next one is Elizabeth this is kind of a more common name but it does mean God's promise or God is my oath so again like I said a lot of these have to do with God or like biblical or like Greek mythology type um, meanings which is which isn't bad um, Susan my aunt's name is actually named Susan and she is awesome and this is actually a Hebrew name meaning Lily um, like a lily flower. Lily, they're flowers, right? I think so. <laughs> Anyways, the next one is Janet. This means God's gracious gift or God is gracious. Um, I thought that was a really pretty meaning for that name. Um, the next one is Is Isabella, which is God's promise. And this one um, is actually a Spanish version of 
um, Elizabeth. And common nicknames for this one you could do are like Izzy, Bella. Um, those were like the two of the really cute ones um, that I found that like other people named Isabella. They usually go by Izzy or Bella or like um, Grey's Anatomy. Her name is Isabella and she goes by Izzy. So that one's kind of cool. Um, Angela means messenger or messenger of God. Then there's um, Melinda, which is sweet. Um, Nellie, I love Nellie. Um, if you're a big Office fan, I know. I, it sounds like I watch a lot of movies. I promise I don't. But, like, Tucker and I sit down after we put Bobby to bed at, like, 9 and watch a movie together. That's kind of like our hangout time. And Nellie is on Office. Tucker does not like her, but I love Nellie on The Office. Hi, Nellie. <laughs> Nellie, really? 9.50? Oh, here's what happened. 7.46, my alarm clock goes off. I hear it. Whack the snooze. Uh. Nine minutes. Bzz. Off it goes again. Whack. Seven more times I did that. Bzz. Whack. Bzz. Whack. Anyways, it means, um, let's see. It means sunray. That's actually pretty, that's actually really pretty, sunray. So your little girl can be your sunray in your life. <laughs> okay, the next one is Gloria, which, I mean, you could probably guess from this name, Gloria is the meaning glory. It's from Latin. Um, the next one is Everett. I actually know a little girl named this, and she is super cute. Um, it means brave and strong. Um, the next one is Diana. Obviously, again, Wonder Woman, her name's Diana. Um... Oh, yeah, anyone anyway, says right here, one who's um, associated with a Greek god. Um, so, Diana. Let's see, it means divine. That one's awesome. That matches really good. Matilda, from the Matilda movie, um, means mighty in battle. And Matilda, I mean, her life was kind of a battle. So, yeah, she was mighty in battle. <laughs> um, Serena, I really love this one. It means um, serene or calm. Uh, the next one, I'm, again, some of these I don't really know how to pronounce, but I think this one is Brie, it's B-R-I-E-N-N-E. So, if you know how to pronounce that one, let me know, because I'm probably not even going to attempt. It's like Brie, because it's not Brianne, it's E-N-N-E. -N -N -E. Anyways, it's a pretty name, because it means high, noble, and exalted. Um, next one is Gertrude is which means strong spear uh the next one is leona uh meaning lion then we have florence i actually um in one of my little like classes that my husband and i teach um we had a little girl named florence and she was really cute um and it means flowering or in bloom so that's pretty genevieve um i actually know a little uh I guess she's my step cousin. Her name's Genevieve, and she's really awesome. Um, and the and the meaning of this name is the race of women. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Grace is the next name. It means favor or blessing. Next one is Nora, meaning honor. I love this name, Odette. I where is that from? Odette. That's from a oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Odette. Odette. Oh, boom! It's from Leap. <laughs> um, if you've seen Leap on Netflix, it's that really cute girl who's an orphanage and she goes to France to be a dancer. Anyways, her like caretaker, her name's Odette. Um, anyways, it meaning wealth. That's what the name means. Uh, Sydney is the next one, which is Wild Meadow. Then we have Amara. So A, -A M A R A. Amara, which means everlasting. Um, I'm going to try to uh, try to attempt this one. It's Adara. Anyways, it means um, beauty and noble. The next one is Clary Bell. I think that's an interesting because it's like Claire and Bella put together. So like Clar Clary Bell. Anyways, it means bright and beautiful. Uh, next is Astrid. Again, that's another like office. That's Jan's younger girl's name is Astrid. Anyways, and Michael kind of had, anyways, nonsense. <laughs> I'm just blabbering. Anyways, this name means fair, beautiful, um, beautiful goddess. Godness. So that one's, that one's pretty. The next one is Mabel, which means lovable. Then you have Shania, 
good old Shania Twain. I love her. Uh, means beautiful. And a good nickname is, or for this one, that's pretty common is Shay. So that's cute. Um, Jolie. Angelina Jolie. Huh? Um, this is actually a French origin, meaning pretty. Um, next one is, I'm going to say it's Rosalind. Rosalind. Ro it's like Rose. So it's R-O-S-A-L-I-N-D. Ro Rosalind. I'm gonna say that's how I pronounce it, but it means pretty rose, and you kind of you can kind of pick up that from the name. Um. Oh my gosh, I'm getting thirsty. Okay, the next one is Callis Callista. I'm gonna say that it's from Greek. Um, it's meaning most beautiful, and then we have Evelyn, which means life. So those are the top kind of um the 49 names that I put in this blog post and I think a lot of them are just very beautiful and very powerful and I would totally name our daughter a lot of these names like Millie I could totally see her as Millie and I was gonna have Bobby be a part of this video but she really needed a nap she was all rubbing her eyes and was really tired and she loves going to bed um, thank goodness not all kids do so I'm really grateful she loves going to bed even nap times she loves it. So anyways, I hope you like this video. Um, like I said, if you want to check out more, just click the link in the description. And like always, don't forget to like and subscribe that so that you can keep up to date on our family videos and videos like these. Um, let me know if there's any, you know, other ones you want me to add or, you know, like new upcoming videos you would like to see. Um, let me know in the comments below. But that being said, this video is over and I'm moving out. Bye, guys.